que toda la noche ya conmigo puedas estar Y tú, me he buscado otra para ti Para que te divierta y podamos compartir Y yo danza, y danza, y guayo, guayo Y yo danza, y danza, y guayo, guayo Y yo danza, y danza, y guayo, guayo Guayo, 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 guayo Hey guys, Charlie here from stogierview.com with a uh, quick first impressions video today. Uh, I've got the Donna Floor Pearl Matafina. Let's see if we can get that to focus in, which, uh, as its name suggests, uh, is a Brazilian Puro uh, comprised entirely of Matafina tobacco, wrapper, binder, and filler. Um, this is from the folks at Dona Floor USA, Dona, Donna, not sure how to pronounce it, um, who apparently uh, in the last um, year or two, year, year or so, have been going through some sort of restructuring, uh, corporate or otherwise. Um, so uh, they were kind enough to send me uh, a sample pack of their current offerings, which I, uh, you know, am always grateful for. So uh, let's jump right in and take a look at this cigar, the Pearl Matafina. Uh, like I said, it's a um, all Brazilian Matafina tobacco wrapper, binder, filler. Uh, this Robusto is, um, let me double check, uh, it's 5 inches long by 52 ring gauge. Sorry for shaking the camera there. <laughs> uh, taking a look at the wrapper, it's kind of rustic looking. Uh, there's quite a lot of tooth uh, to it. Some veins in there. Um, one hole right here, I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, feels pretty well rolled. There's sort of one, I wouldn't say a soft spot, but just sort of a lumpiness uh, right there. Um, off of the wrapper, I'm getting tons of like fudge brownie chocolate sort of um, um, smells. The, f um, the foot is more uh, of an earthy note, uh, so a little, little change up there. I've already snipped the cap. Draw is nice and open. Um, not too strong flavor-wise, sort of some chocolatey there, maybe some uh, raisin. But uh, let's go ahead and light this puppy up. I've got a Zykar Stratosphere lighter with me, which uh, I couldn't find for the longest time. I had lost it somewhere, and I don't even remember now where I found it, uh, but I was happy when I found it. Um, Let's go ahead and get this lit. And there was still some fuel left in the lighter when I rediscovered where I had misplaced it. And there's no fuel left. Huh. So, backup lighter, as always. This will get things going pretty well. Again, another, another Zycar torch lighter getting taking some time to get this really going here oh boy it's a nice beautiful early fall day here in northern Virginia you can see the leaves are changing and starting to fall got a jacket on there's a bit of nip in the air so I love this time of year Getting some Halloween decorations put together. It's my son's first Halloween. He'll be too young to remember, but... Um, see, I'm getting, getting some chocolate, but more of a... More of like a, a graham cracker. So uh, some pretty nice flavors right off the bat. Good amount of smoke. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep working my way through this and check back in, in a little bit and, uh, offer, offer up my thoughts at the end of the first third. All right, I'm back at the end of the first third of my Donna Floor Puro Matafina, and things are off to a fantastic start. So, first of all, um, got a great white ash here. The burn is nice and even, uh, even on a uh, pretty breezy day like we're dealing with today. Um, the draw is fantastic. 
um, you know, decent amount of smoke. Everything's great so far with the construction. The flavors are phenomenal. You know, the, the sort of, the, the main thing that I'm getting from here is chocolate and coconut, right? And, and I've heard of people tasting coconut uh, from Matafina Tobago before, but I've never been able to pick it out. Well, now that I'm smoking a, a Puro Matafina, um, I can taste that coconut distinctly. Uh, and I really like coconut, and I really like chocolate, so put the two together, and it's great. I would kind of describe it like a uh, Almond Joy candy bar minus the almond. You know, I wouldn't call it a Mounds because it's not a dark chocolate. It's more of a milk chocolate. So you, if you can think of a milk chocolate and coconut flavor. So, um, yeah, so, so far, so good. Really enjoying this. Uh, I'll keep smoking my uh, Dona Flor, Dona Flor, Pearl Matafina, and uh, I'll let you know how things are going after the second, third. All right, back at the end of the second, third of the... Donna Floor, Pearl, Matafina. I had to take that secondary band off. Things are still going absolutely fantastic. White Ash, uh, it held on for over an inch and a half before it uh, sort of fell off on its own. Burn is still going great, especially given the breeze. Draw is fantastic. Just, you know, all around, it, it's, it's great. Uh, flavors have changed up a little bit. I was really enjoying uh, that sort of chocolate and coconut flavor on uh, the first third now. Uh, in the second, third, things are still going good. It's more, it's taking a turn towards more of a, uh, an earthiness uh, and actually a nuttiness that, um, you know, surprisingly enough, I would characterize as Brazil nut. And it's not just because this is a Brazilian Puro cigar, but I'm getting sort of a, a Brazil nut flavor. You know, think back to those, uh, you know, the mixed nuts um, that are often um, had eaten. Uh, Christmas time, there's always those big, Brazil nuts that you have to fight forever to crack open, but you know once you do, you get uh, get some good stuff out of there. So yeah, that's what I'm getting here in the second third. Dona Flor, Pearl Matafina. Uh, stay tuned for my final thoughts in the final third. All right, getting right down to the nub here of my Dona Flor, Pearl Matafina, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I really couldn't be more pleased with, with how this cigar uh, performed. Uh, the construction just absolutely throughout burn, draw, ash, um, everything was just fantastic. As you can see, I'm still getting tons of smoke, even out of the, even, even out of the nub here. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Flavor-wise, in the final third, uh, I got a touch of pepper. And chocolate, uh, the, the coconut returned. It was more of a, a toasted coconut at this uh, at this point, as opposed to a sweet coconut earlier. And uh, right at the end, just just a touch of uh, touch of mint. So, just absolutely fantastic. I'll definitely be looking uh, for more of these. Um, just really, really, um, just a fantastic, fantastic smoke. So, uh, thanks again to the folks at uh, Donna Floor USA for providing me with this sample. And uh, as always, thanks to you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.